Hello there, Pokemon Mosh Pit Beta. My name is Etika, and I bought about three other battles to the Pokemon Mosh Pit. Um, I did want to do more, but I wasn't exactly sure what reception would be, so I was a little leery on trying out that many things. But um, it seems like you all enjoyed the video so far from what the reception was, so um, I figured I would just bring you guys one more battle because to my main channel, TR1 Iceman, I'm doing a major, major layout change. Like, dude, it's going to be big and basically before I do that I wanted to bring one more battle to you guys that's why um, you know, I figured I would introduce myself you know you see what I look like you know just in general because I'm planning on doing some big things with that channel but um so I would appreciate it if after the battle you just come on by onto my channel say I mean just look at some of the stuff that I have um, it'll be greatly appreciated but anyways Pokemon Fit I have a battle today with someone named Kuklux Kuklux Anyway, and um, it was pretty fun actually because the team was originally composed by my girlfriend and she was a Ruby Sapphire generation so um, a lot of the Pokemon are third gen and I like a lot of the third gen Pokemon I mean. So basically um, she chose the team for me from the beginning and so um, let's get into it. Um, I'll put the team preview up probably at this point. This is my first time doing anything like this so um, hopefully you guys will be able to see, you know, exactly what the hell it is that I'm doing. Okay, so team preview. He has the, um, a standard Azelf and a Darmanitan and he has the Whimsicott, the Victini, uh, Dusclops, yeah, Dusclops and uh, Tornadus. And so I'm a little bit worried about the, um, well, I shouldn't even say I'm a little bit worried. I mean, it's a goddamn Dermanitan. Like, this thing hits like a truck, so I'm definitely concerned about that. But I feel that won't be too much of a threat if I can play my cards right. Because if you look at my team, I have Lopany, Magmar, um, you see the ones on the screen. Lopany is meant to be uh, more of a support Pokemon. It has no attacking moves whatsoever. However, it has um, the Switcheroo. It has Thunder Wave, and um, I'm hoping that with Lopany, I'll be able to paralyze a fast threat on his team and then take it down with someone slower like um, Magmar or something like that. Magmar himself, I gave him the Evil Light and he has Belly Drum and Thunder Punch, Mach Punch and it's a really weird set but I mean I, I, I just kinda like worked with what I had and so then I have um, the Vanillux and Vanillux is an interesting build. I like Vanillux a lot because I gave it the weak armor ability right? With weak armor I gave it um, maximum defense and I gave it iron defense too. So when it takes a hit, the speed goes up and I give it max special attack with the life warp. So it'll do some damage. I'm hoping that somebody comes in, hits it, it takes a hit, good defense, it'll survive the hit, get a speed and boost, start sweeping. So that's what my thought was on that. Waylord, your standard Waylord set. I gave it icy wind, so therefore I could like make one of his Pokemon slower in a last ditch attempt to kill them, you know, um, just to make them slower for another threat of my team. And then I have Raichu. It's a nasty plot set and it has um, three attacking moves and a nasty plot, so basic set. And Cradley is max special defense, max HP, and it's a cursing set, so um, I don't think I have to explain much more in that regard. Alright, so getting into the battle, um, he starts off with his Azelf, and um, I kind of predicted that, sort of, so I go into Lopany. Um, he goes for the U turn, which is a little odd because I usually don't see special Azos like that, but uh, I mean physical Azos like that, but um, regardless, um, I'll see what happens. So I go for the Thunder Wave because I want to paralyze something that's fast on his team. Luckily, Darmanitan comes right on in. I'm not sure if he's carrying the Choice Scarf or not, but I mean, whatever the case may be, I switch out. I go into my Magmar because I know that Flare Blitz, that's going to kill something. I know it. So I hopefully have enough defense EVs to be able to survive this. And yet, it, it does a lot of damage, it does a lot. So um, I switch out and I go into my Whale Lord to be able to try to um, hit him with the uh, Water Spell because he's paralyzed, so hopefully it'll be able to hit him. But he goes into a Victini, double switches out, and then goes into Whimsicott. So the um, Water Spell, I was estimating it won't do that much, but look at the damage this stuff does. It does a lot of damage, dude. I mean, almost half. That's, that's a pretty big number. Especially on a Whimsicott. I mean, I'm not sure what the defenses are, but I'm sure they're not all that great. But I mean, eh. Anyways, Wailer does do a lot of damage, and he goes with the Substitute, so I'm guessing he's trying to stall me out, but trying to stall me out is not exactly going to work in this situation. I just keep going for the attacks, because repeated pressure on this thing, and eventually it'll break. It's just, it can get really annoying with the Leaf Seeding, and the Substituting, and etc, etc. So the Leaf Seed, of course, comes. I'm feeling that, um, with enough pressure, I'll be able to kill him like I do just now and hopefully I'll be able to um, take down the next threat 
but tornadoes. Now the thing is, is how fast is this tornadoes? Does he think I'm faster than him? Am I faster than him? The question of that is all in the next move. So um, if he stays in, he'll think that I'm going to switch out. And he thinks I'm going to switch out, but I stay in and I go for the water spout. So I guess he knew he'd be faster than me and he thought that I'd be scared, but nah, I stayed in. Now the water spout almost kills him, but it doesn't. And uh, he gets Lucy recovery, of course. And so now with the bulk up, I know he's going to be able to kill me with one more hit. So I figure there's no use in switching out because it's going to kill anything. Because Tornadus has some incredible coverage, especially the physical set. I've never seen a physical set before. Like, that's crazy. You can learn bulk up? Really? Anyway, so um, I go into Magmar to be able to go with the uh, Mach Punch, hopefully taking him down. But, um,. The, it doesn't do anything. I mean, especially with the bulk up and he resisted on top of it all. Like, I, I just threw him out there as fodder, basically. But now we go into Vanillix. Now he goes for the acrobatics. No item. With a bulk up, like, am I gonna be able to survive this hit? If I survive it, it'll activate my weak armor. And with the weak armor, I'll be able to sweep. But sadly, I don't look like I'm going to survive it. But luckily, you'll see that I live on 34 HP, dude. That, that's crazy to me. So anyways, defense goes down, um, speed goes up, and now I'm ready to sweep. So I go with the frost breath, right? Hopefully, um, I'll be able to continue the sweep as the match goes on and um, kill the next threat that comes in. But Tornadus goes down, and that's a beautiful thing. And then next, you have the Azul coming in. I'm about to sweep, though. I have the speed boost. N no, no. No, the, the U-turn kills me. This Azov is really fast, but Hagen Dazs doesn't exactly have speed EVs anyway, so um, it makes sense that it killed me. He goes into Victini now, right? And so now I'm thinking, this Victini, if it's not Choice Guard, I'll be able to Thunder Wave it, make it slower for somebody else to come through and kill it. So that's what I do. Lopini goes in, Thunder Waves, and he goes for the Psychic. I have defense, special defense EVs, so I don't think this is going to do all that much damage, and it doesn't. Now, I encore him to be able to make him stay into Vitini so Cradley can come in. If he stays on the Psychic, I know I'll be able to sponge that because Cradley has special defense EVs. So he's stuck on Psychic now, and I'm going to send Cradley in to be able to sponge the Psychic, and then he'll be stuck on it, and so I'll be able to get a couple of curses up, hopefully. So that's what the plan is. Cradley goes in, I curse up, and he's stuck on Psychic. He doesn't switch out, surprisingly. I thought he would switch out, but he doesn't. So, um,. Whatever the case may be, um, I stay in there and he goes for the Psychic. Like we said, doesn't do that much damage in the first place, so um, thankfully that works out pretty well in my favor. And um, Victini goes out and he sends in Darmanitan, and I know Darmanitan's got that superpower, I know he does, so will two curses be able to stop me from getting KO'd by the Darmanitan with superpower? But um, I don't know, Darmanitan hits like a truck dude, especially Life Orb variants, so um, this superpower, only with two curses and no defense EVs, I don't even think I'm gonna survive it. I mean, it. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Darmanitan, I'm sorry, but I mean, take a seat, brother. Like, it, it's. <sighs> I'm sorry, Darmanitan, it, it didn't work out for you that time. So, um, thankfully, Darmanitan is KO'd easy. And, um,. I, I can't believe I actually lived that, especially so well. I have no defense EVs, just two curses and that's it. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, I go for the recover on Victini because um, it's paralyzed, so I figured I'd be able to recover some HP and then get back at it. What's the worst he can do? Be create, which is neutral anyways against Cradley? Um, well, he does go for that. Let's see how much damage this does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god, Cradley, please stop raping his Pokemon. But anyways, um, go for the Stone Edge, and um, it takes it down. So um, I feel pretty good about that. Um, what else does he have? I'm, I'm trying to remember. Um, oh yeah, the Azov. Alright, cool. So the Azov comes through. He Ice Punches me, and I know this wasn't going to do a lot. If I live the Super Power from my Darmanitan, hand, I can live an Ice Punch from an Azov. And, um... I go for the Stone Edge here, and I know he has that Dust Glops left as well, so I'm trying to be sure that my HP is high for that, because the Dust Glops most likely is going to have Toxic anyway, so if it does have Toxic, at least I'll be able to be at full health and not just be taken down by that thing. So um, I go for the Seed Bomb, because I knew he would switch, I, I felt he would switch, so I wanted to make sure the hit went through, and so he goes for the first Toxic and misses sadly, so um, I apologize about that. I didn't know that the Toxic would miss like that, but um, anyways. 
go for the curse once more because I figured um, Dust Claps, he's just set up fodder, so I won't even have to worry about, you know, um, getting taken down by this guy. So, unless he has a toxic, of course, which he doesn't. So, I get hit with that. I go for the curse, though, again. Wow. I'm surprising myself. I got really, really greedy at this point. But you know what? I figured that Cradley was in there to stay, so I was like, eh, why not? So um, he goes to the pain split here, but I think he miscalculated whose HP was higher. Or maybe he miscalculated who was faster, because if I was faster, I could have stone edged him, gotten him to low HP, then he would have used pain split and recovered. But um, I guess he didn't know that he would be faster, so he pain split it before I hit him, so it didn't do much there. But he goes for the nightshade, and um, luckily, well actually no, it's pretty bad. I mean, it takes me down low enough where the poison will kill me this next turn. And so, um, yeah, at the end of the day, What's left is Raichu, anyway, so we're on Raichu and Azelf, and um, this Azelf goes for the Ice Punch, and um, uh, the opponent told me at the end of the battle that his Azelf was Choice Banded, and I mean, that's really interesting, but anyway, so his Azelf goes for the Ice Punch on Raichu, I'm able to live it um, with a little bit of health, and um, the Signal Beam will be enough to finish him off, so um, that'll be the end of that game and um, it was definitely a great game I really really did have fun with it and I'm glad I didn't exactly get you know stomped out stomped out <laughs> in that battle and um, also to um, Ku Klux it was a great match I definitely want to rematch um, I like rematching everybody because now that you know the teams it kind of like you, you can kind of make sure your predictions go differently so it's interesting when you have a rematch with somebody that's usually the hardest battle ever but um anyways um I would really appreciate it now if everyone from Pokemon Street who watches this um, takes a visit to my channel because I'm about to launch a huge collaboration channel and it's going to be pretty big and um, uh, I have a video on my regular channel right now which shows a little bit of a preview of my new channel coming up so um, I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much Pokemon Street Beta. And um, anyway, so um, I really did appreciate um, the other comments that you guys left on my other videos and I do love posting videos for you guys so um, I'm glad you liked it hope you like this one and um, I'll talk to you all later my name is Etika and um, have a good one and take care of yourself later